All right, folks. Uh, part one. We're at the point of welding. I have some other footage showing this raw area and this area over here before we really got started. We did come across as we were getting this buttoned up. I was putting seam seal in down in that wheel well. The bottom side of the rock was right out on this side. So Jeremy was busy grinding that down to steel, finding good metal. We'll cut it out. We'll place it with a little patch. Uh, the car lot crap that gets filled with uh, Bondo and fiberglass, that should come back in a month, okay? This, we cut it out. We got rid of it, we eliminated it, we treated it, we put in new metal. Um, this will last years. So this side really is damn near ready for our finaling out the bodywork. Over here, I'll show you where we're at. We've got the door gap good, down up underneath. The bottom side is going to be a little crook, a little crook. Down here it's going to be a little crooked because I lap welded it, but it's, it's not going to hurt us any. You'll never see it. It's got that texture coating on there, but it's all good. All that seam sealed in there, where we've nicked and cut and everything else. We'll throw fiberglass over the welds. There's a little dip right here that we'll take care of with the fiberglass. We're going to prep this side like the other side, paint her out, let her go. So we'll go through the footage I've got from today. We'll show you a little bit before this point, some other stuff after this point, all the way through to hopefully getting her in paint today. See you around. Came out real nice, real smooth along here. Came out real good. We've got some trimming to do up on her knee. On this right here and down here, we got to trim them to, to fit. And then I'll want to seam seal inside of here and we'll get some kind of undercoating sprayed in there to protect that. Uh, one of our next moves is going to be pull this tire. I think we're actually going to have to, I'm, I'm feeling this flange now, I think we're going to have to plug weld here, pinch it together. Fiberglass over the welds. Not that it really needs a hell of a lot, but I always do fiberglass as the next step. We'll see you on the other side and as this progresses. Uh, one thing I didn't neglect to state is this repair is going to take us from the point where we cut out the rust that you guys saw initially to painted, finished, blended out, done car back to the owner. Uh, I don't know, we may even get a chance to interview the owner. Cool dude, super cool dude. Um, we did a rust repair on Ben's last week. That's the, wife, that's the car his wife drives, this is what he drives to work. Um, the Ben's they caught in time. All we had to do is take care of some pitting. They're out the door. Alright. Alright, so here we are. Uh, I showed you that one long stringy piece. I wound up cutting it up. Okay, uh, that one I put in, in two sections, you can see right there. I'm going to grind that off, I guess I should have done that already. I've got weld through primer on it. I've got a welding jacket up in the seat so I don't burn it up when I'm welding. We've got that inner structure there. Uh, yeah, there we are. i got to pull the wheel off. So I can get up underneath there and do what I need to at this point. I don't have to, but it's time. It makes my life easier. Stitched in, we'll knock those welds down. This is what we got on the other side. just to show you if I can. There you go. You're worried about the door gap? Don't be. Fixed. And that was mostly pitting. 
So we use short strand. We'll clean it up with navel jelly and use short strand. Inside here, on each side, we're actually going to use uh, we're actually going to use undercoating on the inside. Got to seal it up. Woo! We're getting there. We getting there. Fiberglass on. Mud coming next. Oh, JC's cleaning it up. Inside's all uh, seam sealed. Ready for undercoating. Got the mud going on. Good stuff there. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, this was that piece I told you about underneath. See how I fucked that up? I wanted to drill it out. And it's all right. When I weld it, it'll grind. We'll be golden. Can't see that shot, so I'll look at it in editing. So that's gone. So in light of that, we do that. The little patchwork inside there. Pass that. We'd be home free. See that? Drain port. We're good to go. Alright. I'm all out of focus. No, the camera's out of focus, sorry. I found it. Alright, so back at you here. Found more rust. Cut it out. This piece, I broke that on the brake. Uh, I'd use just hand seamers to break that, and then I put it in the shrinker to draw that just a little bitty bit of radius. See that? I got an itty bitty radius, a bit of radius back here. You don't get it the length out of the shrinker. I tap that with a body hammer, and when I put it on, it's got the correct crown. I got corrosion protectant. Uh, we'll paint this thing yet today. Yep. Undercoated. No, I didn't do the whole wheel. The job didn't call for it. I'm just protecting my work. We made a bit of a mess there on the wheel arch, the wheel lip, but. I'll clean it off as we do the body work. Here's this side. Clean, concise. My aim got better on this side, can you tell? Jeremy's working over there, fuck him. You know what I mean? Oh. Yeah. So that's where we're at. We are... Knocking it down pieces of time. Check back later. All right, we're back. Let's check it out. Got sealer on it. We've got the chip guard down there. That's what that line is. Right there. That's chip guard buy that at your parts dealer or your body store. We're replicating what was there before. There's some nuances, nothing really to write home about. The bumper was scuffed, that's it. Not much to show there. Uh, we'll zoom over to the other side. a little bit right there. So all right, we'll hit it again and work our way through. Generally, you try to seal till all your mapping's gone. Uh, I didn't need to seal that down there, but it was black. So I sealed over to make it gray, to make it paint easier. Make that paint easier. I gotta go around and make sure all my tape's burnished down. See that? Which I'm not that worried about that so much because there's actually uh, six inch tape underneath this from when we we're doing body work. <sighs> so we're ready for paint. See you in a sec. There we go.
This one here is for Ken Cooper. So he wants to see me unwrap. <laughs> Tape stuff. So he wanted to see me unwrap a car when I was done. There you go, buddy. I just unwrapped one. Another one.